Uh, let's let's see let's see what what we left off doing. I know we were in the sewers. I remember that. Um, and we had caught mystery. Oh yeah, you know what? Before I start, fuck you, Goner. Fuck you, Josh. Not everyone's gonna show emotion. And I even said in one of the videos, I'm gonna pull the fuck out of this. So you know what? The next Pokemon I'm gonna catch, I'm gonna name it Goner, and I'm gonna let it die on purpose. So fuck you. Name Plasma, you villains. What? Don't treat us like villains and don't interfere with our plans to liberate Pokemon. Liberate? Ha! You're just ordinary Pokemon thieves. And what's more, you use those Pokemon like they were tools. Shut up, motherfucker. Shut up, fat boy! Hey, don't call me fat, you fucking jit! <laughs> no your Pokemon. Um. Uh, damn. Yeah, it's really early in the morning for me. Uh. So, I. I I haven't had time I haven't had time to do uh, as many recordings as I wanted to, uh, only because I I'm focusing on my job a lot more, and um, right now money is essential for the quarantine. So you know my priority is making sure that I'm able to eat, and so is my girlfriend, and like a bunch of other stuff, right? <laughs> Bubble boy. <laughs> I've been I've been getting into this habit where I've been doing either like a Mario or like Luigi kind of kind of thing. So you know I'm like, oh yeah. So I don't know why I've been saying it like that, but it's like it's really funny because Thurks we're having a serious fucking conversation and just out of nowhere, oh yeah. I like it. But whatever, we've got the Pokemon we need. Now we flee. <laughs> they run away like Patrat! Okay, let's go farther inside. There might be more in there. I don't think that's necessary, you two. Said by triple question mark. Who's this? I've been getting into watching competitive Pokemon on, like, Pokemon Showdown. And I've known about these YouTubers for a while, but I do, I do enjoy content from, like... The Garbodors and um, uh, Weedle Twin Needle. I do enjoy their content. They're 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 really interesting. Didn't work out. I make I make interesting teams. Um, what's one team? Venomoth. Venomoth. Ooh. Venomoth is another underrated Pokemon that people have been sleeping on. I totally forgot to read her function. <laughs> I totally forgot to read that. Uh, but you can teach Venomoth. What is it? Uh. Quiver Dance, there we go. You can teach um, Venomoth Quiver Dance. I think it's a breedable move. So it learns that, and then you go at it with uh, Sleep Powder and Bug Buzz and Sludge Bomb. That that is that is a good move set. And if you set it up correctly, Venomoth is really deadly, and that is why he is a very underrated Pokemon and you know what Eric Eric brought something to my attention the, the other day or actually a while ago when he was doing the elite four for what is it Plat platinum I I do have an obsession with Crobat and that has been relevant I mean ed ed ugh, stutter evident in what I've been doing whenever he calls me so I think I think uh, I'm, I'm gonna make something, I'm gonna do a new change. And this is just for Eric and it's, it's gonna be a one-time thing. Um, I'll probably never do it again because it goes against my own morals. Next time he calls me for the Elite Four, I will probably not be choosing Crobat. All right, everyone, he said it, we can go home now, gift bags at the door. Watford for the win, yes! So obviously there's a time difference for a lot of, apparently a lot of viewers. I didn't know this. I thought everyone was like... Did you know that there are over five countries in this world? We don't need all these countries. People. No British and Canadian, Hawaiian, or Alaska countries. We need 
just American, okay? Well, anyways, just to make it easy to understand, it was late at night. Um, I want to say it was one one thirty in the morning, maybe maybe two thirty in the morning, and for like certain regions, that's like what. 24 hour clocks that would be 0100 or 0200 but anyways I was like I was up playing some Fallout 4 and I was getting ready to go to bed and out of nowhere I just fucking hear like a like a car crash and where I live car crashes are common oh fuck I should have been using water again where I live car crashes are common uh sad to say I live on a busy street and a lot of the times, people like to drive by while they're drunk. So, I was there getting ready for bed, watching a little bit of TV, and I don't know where I just hear like a massive fucking collision. Like, it sounded horrible. And I jumped out of bed to look out my window, and a car, I guess the driver was either intoxicated or sleepy but they drove onto the sidewalk and almost ran through a hotel which I live right across the street from and like almost drove through their front lobby now the sad part and crazy part is that coincidentally earlier this year that same hotel had another incident where a car drove through the front lobby and caved in the whole thing. I had a two vehicle traffic collision. One of the vehicles behind me ended up crashing into a fire hydrant, into the pole, and into the uh, Super 8 motel. Okay, and as of right now, do we have any injuries involved in the crash? Or? We had two adult injuries, both critical, that had to be cut out using the jaws of life. Both were transported to the local hospital, trauma centers. Now I felt bad and I was also excited because I was like, hell yeah, drama, let's see some excitement. But no, the guy or the person didn't crash and just drove off and made a lot of noise for no, no reason. But aside from that, a okay, critical, let's see, let's go through right here. Wing attack, and I hope you don't die. Oh my god, holy shit, fucking <laughs> two health. Oh shit. I don't know if this is a popular opinion or an unpopular opinion, but personally, I actually did like the puzzles and designs for a lot of the Gen 5 gins. They were really interactive. Like, um, the the Sword and Shield gins are cool and everything, but that's, that's because they have to have that for, like, that current system of hardware. But the way the gyms were for... for the, like, the DS... Like, not the 3DS, but like the regular DS uh, hardware, so like the DS Lite, whatever. Gen 5, I think, did a really good job in terms of interactions with the Gen. Um, like Pokemon Platinum and all, like, Gen 4 gyms were, they were cool, the straightforward puzzles, but this one, it's like, like, this is when they started really putting a lot more thought into into their puzzles and i say that because that's like like fuck surge's gym man look digging through trash cans to find a switch that comes up and like you have to check every fucking trash can that's that's bullshit so yeah i think i think gen 5 gyms put a lot more thought into it you know what i'll leave it here uh we'll figure this out on the next part i need to give eric some time to edit but anyways uh i did take into consideration the amount of the quality of my videos and the quality of my commentary so i will be trying to be a lot more not enthusiastic if my pokemon die they fucking die fuck you goner i'll only be sad for some but anyways aside from that i'm gonna be try being a lot more uh enthusiastic for my commentary i know there was like one or two videos where Either my audio like sucked ass. Uh, I'm working on that. I hope my quality's gotten a lot better. I, I have messed around with a lot of settings. <laughs> and, and apologies for the last video where I was at Pokey Studios. I was having a bad day that day and I had to get the video out. And you know, Eric told me, 
if you're having a bad day, just, just calm down. Don't record when you're in a bad mood because then it fucks up the quality. So my apologies to everyone who had to sit there like seven minutes of quiet and Eric's like intense editing. Um, and you know what? If, if anyone's watching this all the way through, uh, you know, hit like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And you should give our other videos a chance to get in. Well, probably Eric. I'm doing it for fun. I'm here to help out a friend. And you know it'd be it'd be cool to have everyone else's support. So thanks for watching, and well, let's wait for the next part. Later. Oh, I forgot to end the recording. <laughs>